we've got our 2013 leaf here and I'm going to change the cabin air filter. It's about the worst day to do it because it's now about 100 degrees outside and it's still morning and it's supposed to get to 107. Nevertheless, for anyone watching on the internet, here we go. To get enough room, I'm going to move the seat back. And number two, I'm going to take this floor mat out. Very important. Because I have concrete here and otherwise I'm going to have to kneel on the concrete and it will be uncomfortable. Okay, now. Open the glove compartment. And on the 2013 at least, I've got this nice um, door on the back. So I'll reach in and open that door. And this door just comes right off. See this thing? Set that aside. And I don't know if you can... Let me get a flashlight on that. Here. Can you see back there? There's a white thing with sort of a waffle pattern on it. I believe that's the cover for the um, air filter. So let me take that off and we'll see what that looks like. All right, so here's the cover in the orientation that it was installed. Well, actually it was more like this. So you can see there's a tab over here holding it in. Probably that should be released first. And then there's this thing on top. But the truth is this thing was so loose when I went in there that it just came right off. So I don't know if you have to take this bottom one off first, but it's probably advisable. And then you just swivel this in to put it back. Anyway, so this is off. And let me see if I can get a flashlight back there. So you see that white thing back there? Hopefully. That's the air filter. And I'll take that out and let's see what that looks like. All right, the doggone thing had a tab on it like this, hanging down. I pulled on the tab and off came the tab. All right, I'm just gonna have to dig it out then. Uh, you mother f All right, here's the old one. Well, that was a um, challenge to remove. So there's the old filter, which I mangled by snaking it out through that glove compartment. And the new one below, which is a little more gray because it's supposedly carbon impregnated, uh, maybe removes more smells. Now, when I look back at the glove compartment, I see that, yeah, I I don't know if you can see it. I maybe could snake the new filter through this hole, but I think I'm gonna follow the conventional wisdom of other people on the internet, YouTube, and I'm gonna take off this bottom plate here. It just snaps right in, and there's actually a hole that I can grab here, hopefully with and it's only just pop tabs, so pop, pop, and then if I can just, yeah, so not much to it. So if I do that, yeah, I think I'll have a better chance of staking this filter up into that. Let me just see if it... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can just get it in right, right through here. So I'll, I'll do that. And I'm not gonna show video of that because that's a awkward operation and also you won't catch me cursing if it's difficult. What I've heard on the internet from other videos is you, you push it in this way into the slot and you're supposed to kind of squeeze it like this. Um, 
like this when you put it in and on this side you also squeeze like this to put it in but I'll do that and you can refer to other videos as to how to do that and after all this um, simply reverse the process and I won't even show that good luck